So in the last video, we looked at differentiating x squared using the definition of a derivative. We're going to do the same thing today, but we're going to have a different function. This function is going to be f of x. And it's going to equal x squared, like last time. But we're going to add another term involving x, which is going to be 5x. So if you recall, the definition of derivative goes like this. We have f prime of x which is the same as saying dy by dx, the same notation. This is going to equal the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus your original function f of x, all divided by h. Okay? So you should try and commit this to memory because it will be very important in an exam. So let's go and differentiate this function. We get that f prime of x is going to equal the limit as h approaches naught of f of x plus h. So this term here, in the last example, we got x plus h all squared. So all you need to do is for where the x is in this function, you replace with x plus h. If you're a bit unsure on function notation, please watch my video on function notation and it should be pretty helpful for you. So let's do that. Wherever there's an x, we should replace x plus h. So in the last video, we got x plus h all squared for x squared. Then we add 5 times x, which is x plus h. Then we minus our original function x squared plus 5x, which is all divided by h, like so. Alright, so now we need to expand this binomial. We get that the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared plus 2xh, we did this in the last video, plus h squared plus this one here, so we do 5 times x, then 5 times h. So we're going to get plus 5x plus 5h. And I'll go over here, we've got no room. Um, so this one here, because there's a minus outside, this plus in the bracket becomes a minus. So we get, we get um, minus x squared minus 5x. Okay, that's all divided by h. Alright, so next we're going to look for like terms. So that they cancel, so we get the limit as h approaches 0. So minus x squared and x squared cancel. The 5x and minus 5x cancel. Uh, it doesn't seem anything does, so what we're left with is 2xh plus h squared and plus 5h, all divided by h. Okay. Now we need to factorise the numerator. Oh. <laughs> um, that's going to give us the limit as h approaches 0. Now we're going to factorise an h, so we get an h here outside the bracket times 2x plus h plus 5. divided by h. The h's now cancel, and what we're left is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h plus 5. So 2x and 5 stay normal, they've got no h next to them, but h, as it becomes 0, h becomes 0. So it's pretty simple. The limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h plus 5, we get 2x plus 0 plus 5, which is equal to 2x plus 5. And 
this is our derivative of our original function x squared plus 5x. Okay. Now if we use the power rule, we get the exact same answer. x squared was 2x. Now 5x is just 5, as we got at the bottom. Yeah? Now, wherever you have a constant multiplied by x, and you differentiate it, you just get that constant back. Okay? In the next example, we're going to do some more harder one, and it's going to be differentiating the natural log function. See you in the next video.